Hi, this is Andrew at DPS, and once again today I'll be answering one of your questions about remote monitoring and control technology. Today's question is, what sorts of things should I be monitoring at my remote microwave antenna sites? Well, remote microwave antenna sites are really just remote sites in many respects. So environmentals, got to be number one. Temperature, humidity, floor water, if any of that's going wrong, you're going to have a lot of problems very quickly, so monitor your environmentals. Next up would probably be power. Commercial power, is it coming in or has it failed? Your battery plant, what kind of voltage is coming out of it and how much time do you have left to run? Generator status, is the generator running right now? And did it complete its most recent regularly scheduled self-test? Track all that with your RTU. Finally, fuel tank levels. Put a sensor on there, know how much propane or diesel you have so you can send a truck out if it starts to get low. Uh, then of course you got microwave equipment. You got some kind of transmitter probably outputting its own types of alarms maybe something like ref reflected power levels. All that's important. Bring that into the RTU and send it back to your central office. Transport equipment is probably also there if this is an endpoint of a microwave link. So the, the network or if it's a legacy site, maybe some kind of serial link. Track the status of all that because if that goes down, you can't get any data onto the microwave system in the first place. The last thing at microwave antenna sites or any kind of tower site with a big antenna, you gotta look out for your tower lights. You're going to be facing FCC fines, potentially liability, a lot of problems if you're not keeping those tower lights online. So you either need to be looking at them regularly or have some kind of automated system in place like an RTU that's going to alert you as soon as those lights go down. So tie into all those things, be monitoring all those things at your remote microwave antenna sites. But I will say that every site's a little bit different. So really if you've got one of these sites and you're not sure how to monitor it, Definitely look at some of the things I mentioned, but also you probably want to call in to some experts at a company like DPS who specializes in remote monitoring. You have a quick conversation in about five or ten minutes, you'll know a lot more about what you're trying to accomplish. And you, you can get specific answers if you have a certain specification you're trying to meet. So I would recommend contacting a company that knows what they're doing if you're just getting started on your project. For more information about remote monitoring and control technology, call 1-800-693 0351. You can also send email to sales at dpstele.com. If you have a question that you'd like Andrew to answer on the show, send it to questions at dpstele.com.